Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I did a colourful look on here, so I thought I'd come on and do this red to orange kind of ombre eye. It's very easy and simple. It's just something I wanted to throw on today. Um, but yeah, if you guys prefer more colourful looks or more simple looks, please let me know in the comments. Um, this look is really easy and it took me like a very short amount of time and it's something that I feel like I can comfortably wear out, like it's a more day-to-day -day look. Um, I don't feel too dramatic wearing this. And yeah, if you'd like to see how I got this look and the um, face uh, the face makeup that I'm wearing as well because I do go through my base products then please keep on watching I use a lot of favorites um, that I just discovered today a lot of new products um, also if you can hear my dog grunting or snoring in the background she was napping on my bed through this whole video and now she's leaving bye but yeah this is the colorful look that I did today and if you'd like to keep on watching you'll see how I did it I wore my Elmo crop top from Peter Alexander today because I felt like Elmo is orange and red and I felt like he would match my makeup today as well. So um, please appreciate my crop top because I think he's really cute. If you know me, I'm a huge Jim Henson fan. Um, Elmo is one of my favorite characters. I know Jim Henson didn't work on Elmo, but I love the Muppets, Sesame Street, all of those characters. And so um, this is one of my favorite crop tops at the moment. Um, I purchased this from Peter Alexander years ago when they had a Sesame Street collaboration. So I've put the makeup products that I want to use in this little Victoria's Secret makeup bag and I'm going to be pulling them out as I go. Um, I'm going to be starting off with some primer. What did I put in here? I put the NARS one in here. This is the NARS Oil Free Pro Prime Pore Refining Primer. And I'm just going to be applying it with this kind of a flat brush from Real Techniques. Um, it's usually like a foundation -y kind of brush. I use this for primer quite often. It's called the Tapered Foundation Brush. Um, I really like this brush. Um, this primer is okay. It's not like my holy grail or anything, but I'm not really a primer person anyway, so I don't really have a holy grail primer. It's just a good primer. It has like a fresh scent. There's a trolley truck going past my house. Oh my goodness, every time I'm filming, it's the time that the trolley truck goes past. Yeah, this primer smells really fresh. It kind of has like a peachy, apricot-y kind of scent. I actually quite like the scent of this primer, um, but I'm not like a primer person, um, so I like don't go in with the primer every day. I should chuck my hair away, yeah. My hair is so flat today, it's kind of sad, but I'll wash it tonight and then I'll get a bit more voluminous for tomorrow. Um, how are you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. How have you been? I've been pretty busy filming videos for YouTube, as you can probably tell by my random spam of uploads. Um, I'm not back at uni yet for the next semester, so I've just been um, working and filming YouTube videos for you guys and hanging out with my friends. Um, COVID's pretty good in New South Wales right now. You have to wear masks on um, like public transport and stuff, but you don't have to wear masks in stores at the moment, which is good. Um, I usually wear a mask. I don't know. I just, I'm used to it at this point, but, um, you don't have to wear masks everywhere anymore, which is fun. Um, this is the, um, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the, um, dewy slash smooth kind of formula. I wear the shade 120. I'm just going to be pouring some of this on my buffing brush. There's not that much left of this foundation. Um, I probably won't repurchase this though. Um, this is the second Fit Me foundation I've had from Maybelline. Um, the last one was the old formula though, before they'd split it into like the dewy version and the, um, matte version. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of over it. It doesn't have the most amazing scent and I'm very like sensitive to scents when it comes to my makeup. Like I either want no scent or a really good scent. And this kind of has like a makeup-y scent. Like it smells like makeup. It has that like sunscreeny makeup scent that I'm not as into so I probably won't be repurchasing this just because of the scent and also there are other formulas that I probably prefer it's not a bad formula at all though it is a really good foundation and um this like skin tone match is pretty good for me um I used to think it was a little bit pink for me but this one doesn't seem too pink for me I don't know maybe it was in my head um I just feel like other foundations are a little bit more yellow toned and obviously I am like more of a yellow undertone so I prefer more of a yellow toned foundation um but this one isn't bad or anything i also don't like the bottle because it's really difficult to get it out like you just saw i was pouring that foundation out for ages it just doesn't become the most convenient because there is no pump um i prefer foundations that have a little bit more accessibility a pump i don't know i also feel like by the end of it once it doesn't pour out anymore i'm like sticking a tiny eyeshadow brush into the bottle and like just scraping out the sides to get the product out and that's not very convenient um so yeah, I don't like to waste product. I really like to use every drop of product of a product when I'm using something up and um, it's not the easiest product to use up. For concealer, I'm going to be wearing the Rimmel Lasting Matte. Um, it says it's a soft matte concealer um, and I'm wearing the shade 010 Fair Ivory. 
oops I just like splashed a bit on my pair of pants that's fine um I just stick oh my goodness I get it in my hair what a mess I just like stick this everywhere under my eyes and then whatever's left I rub around my nose let me just rub that into my pants they're black pants they're not gonna be stained it's okay I'm gonna use this dirty triangle concealer brush that I've been using recently um this is just from Real Techniques again from their bold metals collection and it's the brush number 102 I'm just gonna be spreading my concealer under my eyes in kind of like a triangle shape just patting and um Kind of moving it around and then afterwards I will pat it all over with my finger just to make sure that I don't have any like lines from the actual brush left over so that it's all like even and like seamless afterwards just like that I just kind of press it into my skin and also the warmth of my finger kind of also helps the concealer melt more into the skin as well and look more seamless with the rest of my foundation this concealer is actually quite light on me but I don't find it's too bright once I blend it in and the rest of my face products on so I don't actually mind it too much see that looks okay Um, the scent of this concealer isn't my favorite I feel like Rimmel's changed some of their um, concealer fragrances recently and that one smells a little bit like sunscreen to me it's not my favorite scent but it's not the worst scent so I don't hate it it's just not my favorite Um, this is my first time using the bourgeois healthy mix powder and this has a good scent this smells like the bourgeois healthy mix classic fragrance that like some people describe it as kind of yogurty it's just kind of like a fresh fragrance I think it's really nice. I'm just going to be patting this loosely all over my face. It's a pressed powder and mine's in the shade, hmm, 01 Vanilla. I'm guessing this is probably the lightest shade, which isn't even like that, that light. I don't know. There are people that are lighter skin tones than me. I don't know what shade they would use because if this is the lightest shade they have, it's pretty bad shade range in my opinion. I hope they have darker and lighter shades than just this because... I don't know. I don't know what Bourgeois shade range is like, to be honest. Um, but I wear the shade Owen Vanilla, and it's quite nice yellow toned um, shade. I feel like it looks pretty good on my skin tone, just because it's not too pink on me. It doesn't pull any odd shades. Okay, I'm going into bronzer, and this is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade O2 Sunkissed, and this is actually my first time using the bronzer, so you can appreciate this gorgeous um, imprint in the pan with me. It's just a really nice like slayed out from the middle kind of sundial vibe. I'm going in with this big fluffy kind of multitasking brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to be packing that onto the um, kind of cheekbone underneath here, just on the sides of my face. Oh my goodness, I thought this bronzer had no scent, but I think it does have a scent. Is it just me or does this have a very, very light coconut fragrance? Or maybe it's been in my... No, no, I think it does. Oh my goodness. I love it even more now. Um, the shade is really good on my skin tone. Um, I thought this had no scent when I first purchased it. And then maybe it has got a scent from sitting in my drawer with all my other, like, you know, tropical scented bronzers. I feel like a lot of bronzers have, like, a nice fragrance. But um, this smells actually really nice. I love it even more. I really like this shade on me. This shade looks really natural. I love being over bronze, so don't mind me just like going really ham. I just love too much bronzer. It's probably not that much. I don't know. I just love a lot of bronze. I feel like it really adds a lot of dimension to the face, warms up the skin, makes me match my body a bit better. Obviously, a lot of my foundations match my winter tone a little bit better or like my spring skin color. And I'm my summer skin color right now, so um, I want to match my body a little bit better because my my face is um, lighter than my body. Next I'm going in with blush and the blush I'm going to be using is Milani again. This is Milani Luminoso and I actually quite like this blush. The only thing I have to say about it that's negative is it can be a little bit powdery. Like as you can see there's a lot of kick up that comes off this blush. There's like a whole swirly storm in front of me. Um, it is a very nice blush. I do feel like um, it's quite a light blush and I like a really over blush look at the moment. So I've really been like as you can see I'm like packing it on quite a lot to get the kind of intensity that I'm looking for. It has a little bit of gold um, reflect through it, so it does add a bit of sheen to the skin, as you can see. Probably you can. Um, it's just got a bit of a gold sheen, but nothing um, aggressive or too much. Um, but I just find it's like a little bit of a powdery blush for me. I don't know. I kind of prefer some other blushes, but this is a really nice blush and still like one of the ones I've been enjoying the most recently. It's just not the most pigmented, pigmented of all my blushes. I feel like... Um, this is a really popular blush though and I do agree um, with everyone else that this is a really gorgeous blush especially this shade this is definitely up my um, shade alley in terms of blush I really like a um, like corally peachy pinky blush that's definitely my preference I put a little bit too much on my nose 
let's turn it down oh that's bronze my nose that's fun um, I'm just gonna get a little bit of bronzer and take that down the sides I didn't do the best job of like contouring my nose I just want a little bit of something so that my nose doesn't too light look too light compared to the rest of my face just blend that in this is the brush I used for the face powder earlier just to take it down a little bit that looks fine okay let's use some highlight the highlight I've been loving for ages now is the MAC um, Whisper of Guilt. This is an extra dimension skin finish and I love the extra dimension skin finish formula. Um, I am panning this at the moment because I've loved it for so long I thought I better move it along. I do have a um, another extra dimension skin finish waiting though. Um, I picked up Oh Darling recently and I'm excited to um, get stuck into that once I completely finish up this one. Um, it's just a really nice golden another truck going past it's a really nice golden highlight formula um, I'm really packing it on because then you can see it but in real life you don't have to pack it on as much um, it's just a gorgeous golden highlight um, I love the formula it doesn't look too powdery or cakey on the skin if you um, spray it down with some setting spray it just looks really flawless um, and just a really bright beautiful highlight it's one of my best friends holy grail highlights out of all the ones she's ever tried um, because the extra dimension skin finish formula is just gorgeous um, I think that's all of the face parts I'm going to do for now. Let's do some eyes. What eye brushes have I brought over with me? I have a load of these little silver ones from the Real Techniques Bold Metals collection. They all just look like this. I'm going to be doing a red kind of orange look as I probably mentioned earlier. So I'm going to be going in with the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. This is the old version of the palette. They have updated it since with a new pink row. I'm going to be using these two shades here, these two red matte shades, and I'm going to be mixing them together on... This brush here, which is the brush number one, uh, 201 from Real Techniques, and I'm just going to be using those um, mixed together, just taking both of those shades and packing them all over the bottom of my lid. Um, I'm going to create a really bright red base and then work my way into the orange and blend the orange into the rest of my eyes. So this is the intense part of the look, so I'm going to really go for it. Um, I feel like one of these reds is a little bit too orange and one of them is a little bit too like cool toned pinky so I feel like by mixing them together I can get a true red so that's why I'm mixing both of these shades I'm really working backwards and forwards to build up the intensity of this because um, I want it to be quite a strong red look okay that's kind of what I'm looking for now an aeroplane is going overhead I feel like everything is trying to happen while I'm filming this video and now my dog's coming in the room Hey, what are you up to? I don't really have that good of an orange shadow, to be honest, because um, I used to have the Smashbox um, Shea Mitchell um, like little rainbow palette that they came out with. It was like one of those like lights, camera flashes, little um, flash palettes with like seven shades or something. Um, but I gave that to my little sister because she really wanted some rainbow eyeshadows. Um, and so I just gave that to her because I have this palette. Um, but now I don't really have that good of an orange shade to use because um, to be honest, the oranges in this palette are not superb. I'm just mixing these two shades here um, with this brush number 200 from the Real Techniques Obviously Bold Metals collection. And I'm just taking that right on top of the red just above, blending it out into the rest of the eye socket there. So it goes from red, transitions through to orange, and then hopefully blends out into my skin. Um, Again, I'm just taking both of those shades because I feel like this neon shade, it's not very intense by itself, but I kind of like the color of it a bit better. It's a bit brighter. This one's a bit more of a like pastel orange. And so hopefully by mixing them together, I can get a truer orange and hopefully one that shows up. The orange in this palette is not the most pigmented, um, the neon one. So that's why I'm mixing both of these because by itself, it doesn't really do the most. So I'm just going to be combining these two. This is actually better than I thought it would be. It still has that intensity. I was worried that these oranges wouldn't show up at all. I'm just going to go in with that dirty red brush again just to take a little bit more red through the orange just to mix both parts together. I'm actually really happy with how this is coming out. Lastly, I'm going to be taking this fluffy brush um, and just blending the edges of the orange out into the rest of my eye. I haven't taken any shadow on this brush, so it's a clean brush, um, and I'm going to use it for just cleaning up and blending pretty much only. There we go. I didn't add any yellow to this look. I just left it um, red and orange because I felt like it went with my shirt and like 
the vision that I had in my head. So I'm just cleaning up with this bronzer brush by hopefully adding a little bit more color to my face that's left over on the brush and also dusting off any of that um, fallout that I have. I don't have a load of fallout, just a little bit. It gets on my nose when I flick it around too much. So just moving that around a little bit, I'm just going to use this clean brush that I'm using to blend as well, just to clean up the inner corner there. Cool. Um, now I'm going to go into some details over my face using the highlight that I used earlier, um, the MAC Whisper of Guilt. I'm using this brush from Real Techniques called the... Oh, it's the shading brush. And I'm going to be using that on my inner corners and brow bone and also on the detailed parts of my face. So the center of my nose and maybe on the cupid's bow. I don't know, should I keep putting um, highlight on my cupid's bow? I feel like it isn't always flattering. Like it's... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that. I've been doing it for a while now. It's kind of habit but does it even look that good i'm not sure tell me what you think in the comments down below i'm going to be adding this as an inner corner highlight it just adds so much really cleans up the look as well um really brightens up the eye i love inner corner highlight i'm not going to be taking it over the mobile lid but i'm going to take it underneath the eye just a little bit just to open up the eyes even more and of course i'm going to be popping this on the brow bone i like this brush this shading brush from real techniques just because it um kind of can precisely place product but it's still a little bit fluffy so I still feel like I can blend around the product a bit and have a bit of fun with it um, and like smooth out the edges without being too too precise. Um, I'm just going to blend out my brow bone a little better with the brush I was using earlier on my highlight just like that. Okay now I'm going to go grab my eyeliner because I left it over there and I'll be right back to do some eyeliner. The eyeliner I'm going to be using today is the um, Hyper Easy from Maybelline. It just looks like this. It's a brush tip liner with a hexagonal kind of um, shaped um, grip and it just looks like this. Um, it isn't a flat brush tip. It's actually like a very circular paintbrush kind of tip. And I'm just going to be drawing a ring on each eye with this liner. Um, I've been really enjoying going back to a brush tip liner just because felt tips really aren't my thing. I prefer a brush tip because I feel like I can be more precise, it's easier to use and I can get um, a cleaner detail. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing my liner. I'll fast forward this bit for you um, and you can watch me do my liner. Okay, this brush tip is already becoming really difficult to use. You might have seen me struggling. It kind of has like a shaking sound when you shake it, so I'm hoping if I shake it more ink will come out. But it feels like it's dried up already. That's ridiculous. I've used this like three times. It was good all the other times I used it. Why is it like not coming out now? There's like not that much. That's not new eyeliner vibes to me. No. Why is this already running out? That's really poor. Mm, I'm not sure how happy I am with this liner. Usually I use the Maybelline Hyper Sharp. Um, wing liner so maybe I need to go back to the old version this is like a newer brush tip liner from Maybelline and I'm not loving it okay I know I have another eyeliner in my makeup bag I'm gonna go grab that so I just finished up my eyeliner off camera using the rest of um, some of my essence um, eyeliner that I've been using recently which I don't love that much either but at least it's more inky um, I didn't like the Essence eyeliner as much because it's a felt tip and the felt tip has become really like soft and blunt and flexible so it doesn't really give me like a precise line. Um, it gives me like crayon vibes a little bit because it's so thick at this point because I've used it a fair bit so don't really recommend that one a load either. It's not bad, it's just not as precise. I don't know, I need to go back to my old eyeliner. <laughs> this is the um, Colourpop um, Brow Boss in the... Pre oh actually this is the Colourpop Precision Brow Pencil. Um, I use the shade black and brown and I'm just filling in the sparse areas of the front of my eyebrow um, using this and also just drawing on a tail because I do not have that much hair on my eyebrows. Do you think I should do lashes today? I feel a little bit lazy. I feel like I'm not going to do it. Should I? Okay, fine. You convinced me. I'll do my lashes today. Um, so that is the brows done. I just um, kind of brushed the excess products around with the spoolie just to make sure they look a little bit more even. Um, I really need to do my brows but um, I just haven't gotten on it recently. I just like who really cares you know. Um, I'm going to be putting on some lashes. These lashes are just some lashes that I bought in Taiwan that I keep in my little lash um, box. These are all the lashes that I've been reusing recently. Um, I just bought these princess lashes in Taiwan. I'm not sure what the style name is called. They were just called princess lashes on the box. 
um, and I bought them from a random market. I think the market was, maybe it was in Sheeman, I can't really remember. Anyway, I'm using my Essence Lash Applicator, which I quite like. Um, I feel like it gets a good grip on the lash and gives me a better angle when I'm going into my eye like this. Um, and I'm of course going to be do using my Duo um, Lash Glue and I'll just pop my lashes on um, off camera because it's just putting on lashes and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I popped on some lashes. Hopefully you can see them. I feel like lashes make such a difference on me. Um, I do feel like it was a good move to put on the lashes. I was a little bit worried that they would cover up the eyeshadow, but I feel so like fierce with the lashes on, so I'm glad I did it. I also popped on some lip gloss while I was waiting for my lashes to dry. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade um, 14 Madeline, and it's just a really nice kind of brownie and nude, but it's very neutral, and I just feel like it complements so many looks. I always feel pretty when I wear this lip gloss um, and the scent like flavor of this lip gloss is really pretty too. It's like a um, caramelly vanilla cupcake. Um, and yeah, also about the bronzer that I used, I checked the back of the bronzer, the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer, and it does say that other than being a streak fairy formula, it also is tropical coconut scented. So I don't know how I missed that, but yeah, I love that bronzer so much more than I expected to. Um, but yeah, this is the completed makeup look today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment anything you would like to see from me in future down below. I'm not exactly sure um, what kind of content you guys enjoyed most seeing from me, so please let me know what you'd like to see. Um, subscribe if you would like to see more content in the future and hopefully I'll see you in a future video soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Also please let me know in the comments down below whether you prefer longer or shorter length videos. I'll make